Hey guys, Meteorologist it's Chris Tomer here with this Thursday afternoon evening mountain weather update. Let's go to radar first, and this is what's left of this storm system. Very light precip now. A lot of the energy has slid out of the Pacific Northwest and up into BC and beyond. Now what's important is what's coming in behind this area of low pressure. Let me show you the water vapor and set this up for you. So we have a moisture loft on this and the whites and the blues, the drier areas, the oranges and the reds. You can already see, I mean, all this energy is already lifting out of the Pacific Northwest. Now behind it, you can already see the flow kind of spilling in behind it. And there's some energy here. That's what's going to come in behind it and go further to the south through the through the Sierra and then eventually Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming and Montana. This afternoon, evening, it looks like this is now largely going to miss um, a lot of Colorado. It's just not going to have enough juice with it to make it in there. So unfortunately, I had to take some of those totals off the map. But that's what's next as far as the forecast goes. Here are my key dates for snowfall, best odds of snowfall for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior BC. So for example, in Colorado, now all I've got is moderate snow accumulations on 1119. There is another southern track low, which I'll show you, which may produce some a little bit more accumulation in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Look at that coming up. Um, also of note, interior BC, you've got light accumulations tonight, tomorrow, and then heavy 1116 and 1117, uh, PM 1116 through 1117. And on the coastal range, it now looks like there's going to be a pretty significant surge of moisture, heavy snow, on the high peaks of the coastal range of BC down the road and i'll show you that uh, with some impressive totals for like the whistler blackcomb area okay so let me move over to the uh, this is the forecast radar in satellite 5 30 this evening you can see where the precip is right now and where it will be tomorrow you can see the energy coming in helping to refire some of that snow up across the sierra nevada southern parts of oregon and then that all moves into idaho hits the Wasatch, the High Uintas, the Tetons, the Yellowstone, and also Big Sky. But watch what happens as it approaches Colorado. It just kind of fades. There's going to be some very light accumulations across the western slope of Colorado. But notice it's not, it's just little streaks dusting the high peaks. This is 11:16 uh, in the afternoon. It's gone by that. It's totally dry. So here we are on 11:17 in the afternoon. New storm hitting the Pacific Northwest, big time up there in BC, the high Cascades. And notice down in New Mexico and southern Colorado, here comes that southern track low. And again, it's just not in phase with this next trough coming in, so it kind of moves north and misses a lot of Colorado. There might be some snow in extreme southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, but um, that, that that low is going to be moving out fast. And look at this storm coming in behind it. Another shot of snow for the Sierra, Idaho, Montana, BC, Nevada, and eventually Utah right there. The Tetons, parts of Big Sky. This is 11:18 in the afternoon. Then it moves into Colorado. This is 11:19. This is probably Colorado's best shot of snow. 11:19 as that sort of drives its way through, and then the pattern really does settle down a little bit for a few days, uh, with some high pressure ridging across the west until the next storm system hits the west coast around 11:23. All right, my latest snow forecast. So the rest of today through tomorrow looks like this. 1 to 3 for the Sierra. Uh a lot of 1 to 3s on this board. What you see in the Wasatch and the Tetons mainly happens tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night into early 11:16. So it doesn't happen tonight. Uh doesn't even happen tomorrow morning in the Wasatch or the Tetons, but you got snow up in northwest Montana and some snow for BC. Second time period is much more active. So this is 1116 through 1123. Uh, maybe another three, four inches for the Sierra. Um, in the Wasatch, three to six, probably six to eight for the Tetons, Big Sky, Yellowstone, Wind River. In Colorado, there, there may be some snow, especially in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, um, from that cutoff low. And then everything else, the, the light to moderate accumulations come on 1119. And it's hard to miss BC, uh, potentially feet of accumulation, assuming the trajectory and the surge hits the coastal range. We could be looking at big time totals up there um, around Whistler, Blackcomb, Baker, Rainier, Crystal Mountain. Um, so we'll have to watch that. And some of that will blow into the interior with a foot of snow for Red Mountain and also Revelstoke. And looking at probably six to 10 for central to northern Idaho. 
So some pretty good numbers for this second period. Um, let me take you back once again. Here's the first period, 11-14, rest of today through tomorrow, pretty light, and then we get into some more action here for 11-16 to 11-23. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon evening update here. I appreciate you tuning in. Take care and have a great night.